everybody, it's Ann Patchett and I'm not at Parnassus Books. I'm back out on book tour and I'm not in a bookstore today. I am at Amor Tolls' house because this is what you do. You catch up with your famous author friends while you're on book tour. Amor, what are you reading? I'm reading The Wager. And I tell you, this is uh, David Grant's new, uh, relatively new nonfiction book. Uh, and you, if you read the two page prologue, you will read the entire book. There's no question about it. It is the most exciting story about 18th century naval disaster. I definitely recommend it. You're so good at this. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Anne Patchen, so exciting. <laughs> Lindsay, Elise, Ray Ann, back to you. Hello. Thank you, Anne and Amor, for that lovely introduction. Uh, we do want a house tour of Amor's home, though, if you could get on that. Thank you. Uh, it's Tuesday, and there are so, so many books. I'm going to go through these quickly, but friendly reminder, if you go to our website under the new releases page, you can see a list of every book we've mentioned on the Laydown Diaries. You can click on them, you can read the descriptions and get a full description of the book. So, out today for fiction, we have Wellness by Nathan Hill, who wrote The Nix. This is another great contemporary story of a marriage. For historical fiction, All You Have to Do is Call by Carrie Mayer. This one follows the Jane Collective, a group of women in the 1970s who ran an underground system to help women have access to abortion. The Night Watch by Jane Ann Phillips is also historical fiction, and you might recognize it. It just got longlisted for the National Book Award. Danielle Mason, Northwoods. This is an unconventional narrative. It follows centuries of people inhabiting one cabin in the woods. Hey, it's Richard Osman. Elise is going to tell you more about this one. Uh, we love the Thursday Murder Club. This is the most recent installment. Elise will tell you a little bit about Richard Osman in a minute. And we have a new John Scalzi for folks who love sci-fi fantasy. Uh, this is Starter Villain about somebody who inherits their uncle's villain business. Who hasn't had that happen before? And over in nonfiction, we have Aster. Uh, Anderson Cooper has once again teamed up with Catherine Howe. They did Vanderbilt together. Uh, this one takes part the Astor family dynasty, and we do have true signed copies from Anderson Cooper, uh, limited availability. Cy Montgomery, who did Soul of an Octopus, is back with Turtles of Time and Turtles. And we love Ross Gay. We love the Book of Delights. What do we want? The Book of More Delights. We have tons in store. And up next, we have Elise just never have too many delights. Okay, I have a ton of stuff going on. Um, tomorrow night, Richard Osman, and I'm saying this, this is this is uh, The Last Devil to Die. This is the fourth book in the Thursday Murder Club mystery series. Now, he has not been across the pond for this series, and he is coming, and we are partnering with the National Public Library and the National Public Library Foundation. This is gonna be at the main library downtown, in the auditorium. At this point, it's overflow, and there are only a few seats left in overflow, but the overflow is live streamed, so you are not gonna miss anything. He will sign this book, bought from Parnassus Books, tomorrow night. So just come on, go online right now, see if you can make it. And then on Thursday, we have Meredith R. Lyons, and she's in conversation with Georgina Cross. And this is, a, she's a comedian, and then she's in this train wreck, and she's the only survivor, and then she feels like she's being followed, and maybe she is, and if you know me, I get scared really easily, and this is really good and scary. This is Thursday in the store. Then Saturday, I'm so excited, counting on Nama, and this is by Erica Lyons, and it's illustrated by Mary Yules. And Mary Yules does these beautiful illustrations. This is Noah's wife, who might be an incredible mathematician and engineer, and how she counts with Noah's on Noah's Ark. And Mary Yules did all the illustrations, and she's going to be here on Saturday. I think she is going to read this story and maybe pop pop popcorn. <laughs> which I love is one of my favorites. So she's gonna be here. So story time, 10.30 on Saturday. Then just a few other things. We have the first meeting of the Fantasy Readers Guild, which is our fantasy book club. And we will be reading Fourth Wing. That's on Sunday. And then on Tuesday, you need to look at our website for all of this. This is Mona Awad Rouge. So just to let you know, she's gonna be in store. And there are a few seats left, I think. 
Then just a highlight, October 4th, we have Si Pam Zhang and how much of these hills is gold? This was her debut novel, award-winning, many. Um, she was shortlisted for the Booker and longlisted for the, or she was longlisted for the Booker and national bestseller. Anyway, Si Pam Zhang is wonderful and she's gonna be in conversation with Steve Harouche who we know and love here in Nashville. He used to be here at Parnassus Books. He's brilliant. He's also an author. So he's gonna be here on October 4th with C. Pam Zhang and her new book, Land of Milk and Honey. And then I just also wanted to, um, I know that Lindsay already talked about John Scalzi, and this is Starter Villain. And uh, look who the new boss is. He's gonna be here for Southern Festival and he's gonna be here at the store on October 19th. There are so many events that we have between now and then, and then all through November. So be sure and look at our website. More importantly, even get on the list for the newsletter, sign up for our newsletter. And now I am gonna turn it over to the fabulous Rayanne. Thanks, amazing Elise. <laughs> Hi everybody. If you were here in the store last Friday, you probably got one of these cool bucket hats from <laughs> Susan Lee. She, we had a great event with Susan, and this is the name drop. If you like K-pop drama and rom-coms, pick up a signed copy today. All right, and new books today, also in YA by Kendar Blake, Champion of Fate. This is about a girl trained by female warriors to shepherd a hero to victory, but what if she decides to take her own path? In Children's Biography Picture Books, Autumn Peltier, Water Warrior by Carol Lindstrom and Bridget George. Carol was also the author of We Are Water Protectors. This is about an indigenous woman making sure our water is safe and clean. A couple of books, picture book in middle grade that have a similar theme. Let's see if you can pick up on it. Dear Unicorn, written by Josh Funk, illustrated by Charles Santoso. This is about a girl writing to her pen pal, a pen pal writing to a girl, and they don't realize until they meet each other, one is a unicorn, so cute. For middle grade friends by two amazing Newbery medalist authors, Catherine Applegate and Jennifer Choldingo, they have a book out today, Dogtown. This is about a shelter that takes in dogs and robot dogs. And what happens when a robot dog and a real dog set out to find their people? Lindsay Lackey's Farther Than the Moon is about a boy named Houston who wants to be an astronaut, but only if he can take his special needs brother with him. Fans of Fantasy, The Widely Unknown Myth of Apple and Dorothy by Corianne Haidu is about when the gods are given a pronouncement, live um, on earth forever or return to the heavens immediately. This is for ages 10 to 14 to the Vanderbeekers fans. Today, the final Vanderbeekers book is out by Karina Yon Glazer, The Vanderbeekers Ever After. I know you'll wanna come in and pick it up and a few of you will find a special surprise maybe in yours, a uh, recipe book from the author. This is um, something you've been waiting for and we're so excited for it to be out in the world. A final book today, a brand new deluxe anniversary edition of The Tale of Despero by our friend Kate DiCamilla. And thanks for not being here so I could talk about it. We know you love Kate, we love her. Um, and this is a beautiful edition with a beautiful cover under here. Thanks for listening, thanks for shopping at Parnassus Books. <laughs>